welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the Photoshop series, we are going to see a very nice and professional trick about polygons. How to insert polygons, how to shape them, how to make a great background for them, and how to make to make them hollow. You will like it. Let we go directly. Okay, we are going to start with this uh, 1000 by 1000 as, as usual. We are going to fill it with uh, white uh, background. Uh, and then we are going to uh, insert some guides to help us in placing our polygons. Okay. Uh, a nice trick here that uh, if this color of the polygon you don't like it and you need to, to, to change the color of the polygon, you change it from for every project you are making based on the colors you are using because sometimes the polygons are very good in uh, helpful in, in placing. So we come to edit preferences, guides, grids and slices. And we change uh, the guide's color. Uh, we can make it black. Okay, and then you can see a black grid. Maybe this it depends on, on what suits of, uh, what's good for your eye. So, and then we go to the polygon. From here, we select where is the rectangle and circle and so on. We can select uh, the polygon tool. Okay, and then uh, I need to place uh, my polygon uh, starting uh, from here. Okay, why well, starting from here? Because every shape in Photoshop it's like surrounded by a square, and uh, if I click here, this will be the point where it starts. Uh, it will start down and right uh, with my polygon. So if I select here, it says that I will place 1,000 by 1,000. I need a little bit 100 by 100. I need a little bit bigger 500 by 500. Okay, and the number of the sides of the polygon here is uh, is eight. Okay, uh, here uh, he is selecting a star. I will tick off the star now and then we will see how each polygon is coming so okay okay that's the shape of the polygon you can see here from here on the top that's the menu of the polygon so the first thing is shape so make sure that it is a shape uh, for this one it's having no filling you can select here and select any filling color you like uh, for example I'll select this blue uh, filling color okay you can select also uh, pattern fillings from here uh, maybe something like rocks like this one or you need some fancy shape like this one okay and uh, this one is for the uh, external line maybe you can select a black uh, external line if you like or you just from here you uh, can make no external line for it okay that's one uh, shape so uh, we'll go here we will uh, if you click on the eye disappeared the, your shape is existing, but it's just uh, hidden, not there. Okay, and I'm going to add uh, a new polygon. Just again, from the same corner. Okay, uh, I'm going to add it also as 500 by 500. This time, uh, I'll keep the sides uh, 8, but I will select star. Okay, uh, these ind uh, indent sides by 50, that's the difference in percentage between the radius uh, regarding the dips, uh, the, the troughs, and the peaks uh, of the star. We are going to see this uh, in a moment. So let's we say OK again. You can find this star is coming perfect. To make the star coming perfectly like this, uh, there's one setting here. Um, so here, from here, that's it's uh, based on your selection, and you can make it based on your canvas. So that's important to align it to, to make sure that it is aligned uh, in the right uh, position. You can see here if you can move it here, you can move it to the top. Here, you make it uh, aligned your canvas uh, to the center. If I make uh, to selection, you don't find because I don't have any selection, so uh, there is no here. Uh, these marks are not uh, are not coming, but uh, if you are making to the canvas, you can move it based on the canvas from here. Okay, so I can bring it to this side. I can bring it uh, in the middle. Okay, if you are having a, a selection, you can align it to, to your selection by changing the setting here to selection. Okay, and then I'm going. Uh, okay, and as I told you here, this in the settings, the difference between is 50 percent. This uh, it is this distance between uh, the the center to the to the peak of the star here the peak of the edge of the star here uh, that's this distance is 50 percent okay you can change it from here for example i can make it uh, 20 percent okay and then let me enter another star from here we make it now it's selecting it uh, as the previous one and 
it's 20 okay now you can see how it is looking it's different that's one of the eastern chips you will like it we will make uh, a lot of nice work using this uh, shape uh, another uh, nice trick here that if I select this shape again I make it 8 and I will add only here smooth corners okay now you can see the shape is coming you can build on it to make a, a flower or or other artistic uh, shapes and so and uh, as we as I told you from here you can make it you can give it stroke from here for example I can give it this stroke color and you can increase uh, the stroke from here I can give it uh, for example 25 stroke and then you can start building uh, on it uh, on this basic sh uh, basic shape I prefer this one okay and uh, I'm going to uh, select it polygon and then I'm going to uh, fill it okay with this with the uh, with the blue color okay and I want to, uh, to insert another one of the same shape so I'm going to click here again also I insert this one 250 pixels to make it half it I remove the smooth corners I keep it as a star and the indentation to 20% as the original shape okay it's coming here so, uh, now if I select this polygon and I come to selection and I select this polygon and I select post polygons okay and I ask to uh, center post polygons. You can center it from here, vertical and uh, horizontal. So you are saying now, what is the gain? They are the same color. I can change the color of one of them, but now, for now, I kick off this one and I will keep uh, this one. And then I will go to my nice uh, shape selection tool, object selection tool. Okay. I'll make this nice selection. Okay, and then I will go to the other polygon, this one, and then I will press delete. It needs to be rasterized. Okay, then I will come to layer, rasterize layer. Okay, and then I can make so you have a very nice hollow uh, shape. Okay, control D. Okay. If now I come to select. I'm on this uh, polygon. If now I come uh, to select like this one, okay, and uh, I'm going to subtract the, the area uh, from the inside. This area from the inside. Okay. Now you can see now you have selection only for uh, for this shape. During making this uh, selection, I can make something nice. I can make file place embedded. Okay, I will be selecting this hood. Okay. I will change this one behind it. Okay. Then I come back here to this layer and I repeat the selection process once more. Okay. As we learned, we make the selection again in the middle. Okay, now I'm having my perfect selection. And now I move this la wooden layer, display it, hide this one, and then I'm going to invert the selection. Okay, and then I'm going to make delete. It needs to be restored again. Sorry. Image, restored. Restorize layer, okay, then delete. Okay, now we have a very nice wooden star which you can use it as a, a decoration point. Okay, uh, of course, you can add some uh, effects uh, from the layer styling. Layer uh, style like devil and impose. Okay. You can see, see now it's it's coming like as if it's it's wooden. We can decrease the depth a little bit. Okay, you can increase the size. You can see the effects directly 
on the star coming. Okay, to give it uh, some uh, 3D uh, effect. Okay, uh, that's the affecting of the shadow and uh, and altitude of the coloring. We have spoken about this in other videos. So you, by changing it, you can you will change the the the, the lighting. You can make it zero. For example, that's uh, uh, the zero lighting that like this. You don't have a depth. You can make it 90 uh, degrees like this. You are uh, seeing it from the top, directly from top, and you can select any anything in, in the middle, like 45. That's the the direction of uh, of the lighting. So that's the the, the height uh, of the uh, of the lighting, and this one is the direction of the lighting. So I can change it in here 45. You can see the shadows are changing. That's uh, we have seen 90. Okay, and you can make uh, negative 90. You can see it is opposite. You can see here that this shadow is opposite. It's, it was it's coming here because uh, the lighting is coming from uh, this side. If I make it like this 90, you can see it is uh, reversed. Okay, I hope uh, you had learned today uh, a nice trick uh, that will help you in making great artistic shapes that will help you in uh, in your design. Thank you for watching uh, so so far. Uh, Press like and subscribe and leave us a comment what you like to see more and we are going to continue in these tricks using uh, polygons so uh, wait for the other videos.